Welcome to Electron Line. Here we have two radical expressions, one divided by the other, and we have to simplify that. But notice that it's the cube root in the numerator and the cube root in the denominator. So what we can do here is we can write it all over a single or all under a single radical expression. This can then be written as follows. This is equal to 7, because that's outside the radical symbol, times the cube root of the numerator. We have 48 x to the fourth, y to the eighth, divided by 6y squared. So we put it all under a single radical. We can do that because the root is the same. Next, we can divide the denominator into the numerator. We see that 6 goes into 48 8 times, because 8 times 6 is 48. So this can be written as 7 times the cube root of, that would be 8, x to the fourth, and we have y to the 8 divided by y to the second. So we subtract exponents. 8 minus 2 is 6. So this becomes y to the sixth. Next, what we can do is simplify this. Notice that 8 can be written as 2 cubed. So this is equal to 7 times the cube root of 2 cubed x to the fourth, y to the sixth. And then, to simplify that even further, what we could do is write as follows. This is equal to 7 times the cube root of 2 cubed x to the third times x to the first power, because x to the third times x to the first power gives us x to the fourth, and this can be written as y cubed times y cubed. The reason why we wrote it in that form is that if we have the cube root of something cubed, that can come outside the radical symbol. So this can now be written as 7 times, pull out the 2, pull out an x cubed, because the cube root of x cubed is simply x, pull out one of the y's, and pull out this y, because the cube root of y cubed is y, and the cube root of this y cubed is y as well. All we have left when we pull these out is the times the cube root of x. That's the only one that remains underneath the radical. And of course, we combine these, and we get the following. 14 times x times y squared times the cube root of x. And of course, if you don't like the radical symbol, you can then take that last part and write it as 14xy squared times x to the one-third power. And then if you like, you can combine this and this together. x to the first times x to the one-third will give you 14 x to the 4 thirds power y squared. And so you can write it as a final answer like this, or you can simply leave it with a radical form like that. Again, it all depends what the expectations are, but either answer, of course, is correct, and that's how you write it in its simplified form, starting from our original problem. And that's how it's done.